welcome to the Just Jim Radio Show. We're uh, moving through this first part of 2021. Um, I think some of us just want to forget what 2020 was all about, but as we're moving into 2021, Just Jim is here to bring you inspiration, bring you information, bring you ideas and concepts that can maybe open some windows to see a little differently or clearer your life, open some doors of opportunity. Not that I'm opening them, but as you are listening to what we're talking about, you know, maybe it, it stirs something or has you see something a little bit different, brings you some inspiration uh, into your life and, and help you make your way and experience life with a little bit more fulfillment, a little more fun, a little more enjoyment, and a little more freedom of who you are um, as, a, as a spirit in your life and as a, a human being in your world. Um, there's so much going on and, and we're looking as we're moving into this new decade and new year uh, to be able to offer through the show everything we can to support you and being able to make a difference uh, for you and, and in your life. We do that with interviews. We do that with conversations. Today will be a discussion. You'll get to listen to me share something that I feel is going to be really important for all of us and just a, a view of it for you to consider. Uh, I've been doing this kind of work for over 40 years, making a difference by helping people, counseling people, uh, supporting people, and, and sharing, you know, uh, in, in many different ways. Uh, so know that I'm here to be of service and to help individuals and groups and even on a larger scale, uh, the world itself uh, be a better place. Today we'll be have the title of Starting Over in 2021. That's a big title, Starting Over in this year. Um, and, and, and so when you say something like that, you got the whole resolution thing, you have the whole, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Uh, but, the, the, you know, everybody talks about making a list of resolutions and then trying to follow through with them. But today I'd like to talk about, you know, how do you actually do that? How do you start over? And we all know it's not going to be a you know a, a, a whiteboard or race and, and and starting from scratch. It, it's going to be a combination of, of transforming and replacing and and doing things uh, as we have differently and doing things completely different than we have before. But there there needs to be a way we can look at how we can do that. Um, I always say the best place to start is right here. Uh, what that means is so many people are constantly looking at what they don't want, where they want to be, that they forget to take a moment to arrive right where they're at. And I know sometimes that's not so good because usually when we're wanting to start over or change, we don't like where we're at or we don't want to be there anymore. And just like any trip you're going to take, there's a destination and then there's a starting point. And so your GPS, your spiritual GPS, <laughs> needs both. Where are you and where do you want to end up? And we all know it's about the journey and there's many different twists and turns and things that can occur. But today we're going to talk a bit about how we can actually start over, change direction, heal and clear and move forward. So where are you? And, and, and I, I encourage you as you're listening, certainly to uh, work with this in whatever way fits for you, but maybe pick something that you'd like to let go of or you'd like to change. You know, whatever's going on. Let's use one of the traditional ones. You know, you want to lose weight or, or you know, you want to uh, get out into outside more often, uh, something simple. So you, you want to look at what does that mean to you? Uh, where are you with it? Because not only not just where you are in your life, but what it means to you. Because you want to change something in your life. It's because you want to be different. And so you want to experience yourself different either in relationship to something else or within yourself. And it all comes back to you. And so it's really important to take the time when you realize, okay, where am I? What's going on? What's my what's my situation here? And you know what? 
I no longer want it to be this way. I no longer want to carry this weight around any longer. I want to make sure I'm doing what's necessary to begin to lose some weight. And, and maybe it's about being in better shape so you feel better about yourself. Or maybe it's about being able to do more with your family. Maybe it's about being able to do a job that you're not able to do or even go apply for until you're in better shape. Maybe it's because you just feel like you're going to experience more freedom because you've got more vitality and you're able to just be more open and, and relaxed in your life. You can see how just wanting to lose weight can be related to 10 different things. And this is what I mean by, you know, where am I and, and what do I want to let go of and, and why, what that means to you. And so frequently we can get caught on the, <laughs> I either call it the merry-go-round or turn a merry-go-round sideways and it becomes a hamster wheel. We can get on our, our hamster wheel of life and, and that's not a negative, you know, don't, I'm not making a judgment here. We all create our way to get from here to there. We all get, create our way that we work in life and and you know frequently for many of us not all of us we get up and we've got this cycle we get up at a similar time we do similar things we go do similar jobs or or go do similar things each day but our life is is this cycle and so we can get off the merry-go-round we can get off the hamster wheel for a few minutes and the place to turn is within is to listen to yourself you know, to really begin to look at, okay, I obviously don't want to start over as myself, get rid of me and have another, another me come plugging in. I want to change something in myself. And so the first thing I need to do is look at how I'm already approaching this. And let's, let's use the, 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 the uh, losing of weight. I mean, uh, I've got an, uh, this really fancy elliptical in my you know, garage. I've got a, a heavy bag in my backyard and, and uh, a beautiful neighborhood I can walk in, a bicycle in the garage. I've got uh, all kinds of things in my area, the legacy trails being extended and I could, I could be out on it or down at uh, the beach or, or in a park in the area. I've got all kinds of different ways and places I could go to do what I want to do that I'm not. And so these are ways I can look at, I can begin to incorporate. Now, which one do I relate to? I don't want to say, oh, well, I need to lose some weight. I better get on the elliptical that's in the garage. If that's not really what I want to do, maybe I want to walk outside in nature more than go to a gym or use a, a machine in my own house. It's about thinking about what do I really want and how do I really want to be even in relationship to this losing weight. And am I a diet person? I'm not necessarily a diet person. I enjoy good quality food. What does that mean? That means I could cut back on things that I don't need to have as much of. See, this process is me determining within myself what I know I need or want and you got to stretch a little bit. Uh, you got to stretch a little bit. If you wanted to get on the elliptical or take the walk or the bike or go to the gym, you wouldn't be talking about losing weight right now. <laughs> or if you were eating a little less. I had a friend of mine who used to sit and ask his guides. His, he would ask for inspiration. Oh, how do I lose weight? How do I lose weight? And he would sit quietly and listen to the, listen to the answer. And he'd go, he'd hear, eat less, move more. <laughs> he didn't like that answer. He wanted something more than eat less, move more. Well, you know, each of us are going to approach whatever's going on differently. And so it's important to where is it, is my relationship to the situation? How can I, can I do that? And, and then as importantly as finding the direction you want to move in is deciding I'm no longer going to do it this way. We're back to that you know, starting point destination idea. If this is what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the elliptical. I'm going to get on it 15 minutes every day to start. Uh, and what does that mean? That means I'm going to eliminate whatever keeps me from being able to get on it. Maybe for, for you or for me, it might be getting up a little earlier. Or maybe there's something you do every day that you're going to give up to make sure you've got the time. You maybe want to set a specific time depending on the kind of person you are. It's really important to clear out what was 
so you can have a space for what can be. And to kind of let go of what that is for you. It's kind of like um, shifting the, the merry-go-round or the hamster wheel so that you're doing it a little bit different. And as you, as you come to that place where you clear an opening for something different, um, you then begin to get clear with yourself. And so we say resolution, resolve. We say commitment. We don't want another obligation, another task to be completed. We want it to come from that place within us that makes us a priority what we really want. You know, I'm not gonna get any objections from my wife if I'm telling her I'm gonna be on the elliptical every day for 15, 20, 30 minutes, and I'm not gonna be able to do this or do that. She's, she's gonna be very supportive. Here, here we're back to the quality of life. Um, so I wanna lose weight so I feel better, so I've got more vitality, so I can do things that I haven't been able to do uh, as easily. Um, now I've got another factor I can take into my life. My partner, my wife, she's, she's uh, wanting to see me in a better place. Uh, not only just, you know, physically how I look, but also how I feel. She wants the best for me too. So what is your priority? What helps you make doing something different, starting over, making the change? You, you, you need to look at these pieces of the puzzle um, so that you can have the catalyst that helps make them happen. You are the one thing that stands between you and you getting this done and making this happen. Your patterns, your habits, your ways of seeing things. And these ways of dismantling these cycles that you've already created are ways to kind of inject or infuse into your cycle something different. And the minute that you stop and look more carefully and listen to what's going on within you and you begin to become aware and make decisions of how you're going to do things differently, it's like opening windows. You're looking at something in a different way than you have before. And this new year, you're taking the time to stop long enough to not stay on the hamster wheel or the merry-go-round and getting dizzy and just get clear with yourself, with your life, with those who are in your life and, and know that everything you do for you, no matter whether you're in a relationship or a partnership or marriage or not, everything you do and how you are is going to affect those in your life, those in the world around you, in your community, because as you choose to be different, or make a change, or start over in 2021, you're able to then be more in these areas of your life for others. For yourself, yes, but for others also. And right now, we need that. We need to have our world, our lives, our communities, our, our, our even close you know, inner circles shift because we've had one hell of a 2020. And now it's time to have a, <laughs> a heaven of a 2021. It's time for it to be different than it has been before. And these steps, we can, and it's going to be different for each of you. You know, you're going to approach things differently. Some of you are disciplined. Some of you will say, you know, I've been doing 15 minutes every other day. I'm going to do 15 minutes every day. Or I've been doing 30. I'm going to bump it up to 40 or 45. You may already have something in your life that you're going to shift to a different level, I like to think of it as stepping up. Stepping up and stepping out in 2021. What does that mean? It means 